Hey guys, Auto Trace is still missing in our favorite Affinity Designer. That's why we need some third party options to vectorize our raster images. The developer behind VectorQ reached out to me to sponsor this tutorial and test out his tool. It's available for macOS and iOS straight from the App Store without any subscription on hidden cancellation fees, just a flat price. After you boot up the program, you will have an option to vectorize photo or vectorize movie. You can also start a custom artboard if you want to do a simple vector graphic within the program yourself. But we're going to use it to auto trace, so I click vectorize photo on the left. I have select my image and now it's already detect the backdrop and it's gone. You can click here to remove the backdrop before you turning your photo into a vector art. So that's helpful. And we can also change the crop straight away. So we don't need to vectorize unnecessary areas. All right, let's click vectorize button on the right side. And it's done. I didn't speed up this video or anything like that. It's just so fast. Now we got a nice vector art project out of the image. And there are many presets on the right side that we can switch between. Take a look. Pure vectors, recolors, ink to keep it black and white, gray colors. That's really nice result. More than that, we got some sliders. So each preset comes with sliders. We can customize those sliders to add more details or remove details, simplify the design. Then you can also adjust some color settings. So some of those presets come with like main color, like here, for example, very artistic preset, but there's also a main color here below that you can modify. And this color will change. So you can customize most of those presets with the sliders below. So just look for the sliders so we can apply some custom settings. As you can see, there are many artistic like presets ready to use. You just click on it and you see it straight away. It's very snappy, very quick. I'm running this on M1 MacBook Air, the base model with just 8 gigs of RAM and it's really, really snappy. All right, as I mentioned, you can customize your colors here below. And after you select the preset you like, in my case, I'm going back to the top because I want this simple one, the simple curves like that with the original colors. So even if this curves preset looks so nice, there are some gradients I can see around that may not export to SVG perfectly. That's why there's another preset called Pure Vector. So let's use that to ensure that we got 100% scalable vector graphics. I'll use Pure Vector. I hit Export and select SVG as my format here on the right. Export. And now I just reopen that image here in Affinity Designer. Let's inspect. Seems like all elements are curves so no images in this version so as they advertise it's pure vector format all right so that's how we can use auto trace in our kind of third party app called vector q to turn our raster images even pictures of people into vectors then we can reopen that in Affinity designer and continue working here in designer or we can use a built-in editor in VectorQ. So if you, let's say, go with the gray colors, I really like this one, you can click the button here on the left, send to editor, and then you will end up having this basic editor with all of the basic tools like Node tool, take a look, there's a pen tool, brush tool, gradients, you can add text. So all of the basic editing features are built in in VectorQ. So it's not only good for vectorizing, but you can also do some editing. You got your layers on the right, as you can see.
All right, let's try with two more images. For the second image, I select quite challenging one with the dog here. Very dynamic one. Dog is running, but seems like the backdrop was removed correctly. He is like partially in the water, so that's good. Let's click vectorize. And here it is. The gray one is really nice. We can use outlines, ink, recolor pure vectors like before curves that give us better colors but use some gradients that may not export as pure vectors in some cases this one is nice sunset in this case we need to customize some details i believe let's play with that slider give maximum details now we can finally see the dog bell pen this is interesting one so the same thing we Auto trace it quickly and now we can adjust using those presets. All right, so for the animal image, it's also working fine. All right, let's test it one more time, but this time with some kind of symbol or logo. The last thing we're going to test is a simple pictogram. This was a PNG and we'll try to export this one as a vector format. So let's click vectorize once more. And now I'm still in those presets designed for portraits, for pictures of humans and animals, for kind of very realistic images. So let's scroll all the way up to see basic presets dedicated to symbols, logos, and pictograms. So we got colors, lines, outlines. And the original one that is not trace just yet. We just got removed backdrop, but it's still a raster file. So let's move from original to colors. And the result is great. It's exactly the same, but now in vectors. We can also see colors used in this pictogram. So there are two colors. It didn't generate any unnecessary colors. And like before, we got this details slider. So I can reduce that because it's covered all of the details already. All right, now, now we can export that as the vector format. And once more, I will click export options. And here we can select SVG. This time I will reopen this SVG in Inkscape. Let's zoom in and check out those paths. Here it is a perfect vector made of raster PNG. I am really happy with those results. So that's a vector queue for you. If you would like to check more about this great software, I will drop a link to App Store in the description. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next video.